right, now Liz here with your Daily Lizard again today. And we are talking about questions. And the questions today are from the book of Beautiful Questions. And I want to address decision making today. Uh, I was in a um, something that we call forum in our success circles. And the person that was presenting was facing a particularly difficult decision. And uh, we, we worked with, with this person to help them make a decision. But making, making big decisions is tough. And an interesting thing that I learned reading, uh, reading this book is that a lot of times we tell people, go with your gut. When you have to make a decision, go with your gut. But the facts are that, and the research says that your gut is going to be wrong more times than it's right when you are making big decisions. All right, now I'm, I'm, we're not talking about like safety things and those kinds of things where you need to make a decision split second. That's a different scenario. But when you have big decisions that you need to make, your gut probably not the best thing to do now the best thing to use instead you should be logical so this book gives you a few questions to ask yourself to get yourself on the right track and make sure that you are actually thinking about the problem in ways that will help you and then also getting yourself out of your normal biases and I love this because I, I know you've seen it the same as I've seen it we make a decision we think it's a great decision it backfires and we're frustrated we kind of have this feeling like I know I should have known better or I knew all along was gonna work or all of the little stories that we tell ourselves but bottom line is we make that decision because at the time we think it's a good decision all right so uh, the book is saying there are better ways to make decisions but you have to overcome your own biases and that makes perfect sense to me because I've seen that myself and I've also seen it in other people and I saw it again today in our forum where people were talking toward their their bias all right so one of the points that it makes is that think think of yourself while you are hold on i gotta put this here uh while you are making your decision think of yourself as either a soldier or a scout so are you the person that is following the rules and doing the things the way that they've always been done and just following along not even thinking very much just doing the thing sometimes that's appropriate but sometimes you want to be thinking more like a scout the person that is out front trying to figure out what is the right thing to do opening up your mind for different ideas being curious toward what other people do and what might work instead of just doing what has always been done so that's a great question these are the main four questions that are recommended that I really liked that I thought could actually really work for me and I'm thinking it might work for you too and I do have a decision that I need to make so today I am working through these four questions and here's what they are the first one is why am I inclined to believe the things that I do about this why am I leaning toward this one thing you know what what's going on for me what's the bias there and that question can help you recognize that oh i've already got some preconceived notions here and it gives you something to to look at more closely All right the next one is what if the opposite is true of what i believe just what if what if the opposite is true Ooh, that makes you actually start thinking about other things helps you to be more creative etc here here's the third question uh, what do i want 
to be true? Oh, I love that question too, because a lot of times we already have an idea of which one we want. We want this thing to be true, and that's not helpful, because when you want something to be true, you've already kind of decided what you're gonna decide on. It's the thing that you want to be true. So you, you have to watch that. That Again, that's that bias, that bias. And then what do I believe about this thing, uh, about this decision that I'm trying to make? What do I already currently believe? Once you, once you figure out those four questions, the answers to those four questions, then it makes it a lot easier to make a decision based in logic versus that gut that you think you're not using when in actuality you are. All right, so today's daily action is look at a decision that you made in the past, in the recent past. How did it go? Uh, what, what could you have done differently? Would these questions have helped you? Would you have potentially made a better decision? Now you won't know for sure because hindsight is not very trusted. We, we can't trust our hindsight. We are um, hardwired to uh, give ourselves credit when we don't actually deserve it. But still, that's, that's the daily action for today. Look back and try as best you can to think if your decision making process would have been helped by these four questions. That's it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.